Um, you had mentioned feminism. By my estimation, second wave feminism was a shock to Western society. What do you think of the Woman Liberation Front? Or? I think it is one, one of the most revolutionary movements in America, and I am fully in support. You have a two-year-old daughter, Vanessa. Yes. In what kind of a society do you think that she'd be living in 15 years from now? You have an entire kind of Western infrastructure being built around the modern woman. Well, I would hope that she would be living in a... In a in an unpolluted, Marxist, socialist country. Feminism promised to usher in liberation for women, but the reality is it took the woman out of the house, and now depression is at an all-time high for both men and women, and they're now preaching the gospel of mental health. We need to talk about mental health so that women feel comfortable talking about it and addressing it in today's society. Talk a little bit about how feminism has shifted Western society for the worse. Really, feminism was a way to exploit women. The Supreme Court today legalized abortions. Roe v. Wade absolved men of the responsibility of fatherhood. Do you think women's liberation is a good thing? I sort of just don't believe in it. The man should wear the pants, you know. He should sort of be the boss in the family, you know. Sort of. Well, I'd rather him go out to work and earn the money than me go out and earn the money and look after the kids, you know. It used to be our institutions supported families. I went to grammar school in the 60s and you, you would never hear of a teacher telling students you need to defy your parents. It was understood that public school teachers were paid for by the taxpayers. They were not surrogate parents in the classroom, and I think that has happened because of the sort of drift of our society. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents, or kids belong to their families, and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. I think it's a, it's, it's a plot against women. I think so, too. I mean, it's interesting because, you know, I do believe that as Americans, we live in the freest country in the world. But there's only so much you can do with your freedom. And to the extent that you utilize a freedom to do a thing, you are necessarily sacrificing another thing. There's only so much of you that you can give. And so if you are going to pursue all these things, you necessarily have to do it at the expense of something. Kids have to be brought up, raised, educated by someone and so what we've mm -hmm. done is we've created a, an entire culture where children are spending less and less time with mom and dad to the extent that the state gets access to the kids uh, at an earlier and earlier and earlier age as time moves on how do we as a society not think that our children <laughs> will become statists or just become completely antithetical to the values and the culture that we're trying to instill in them.